Okay, these two blades, I just went ahead and put an ellipse zero on here. This is the template, this is the heel, this is the toe. Goes like this. So I use the machine to go through and cut from about here to here. So it's now cutting the entire place from where I want to go from here to here. It's, it's cutting the profile. This is an ellipse zero. Okay, here's my template. I'm going to put this on. It's a lip zero. Lift this down. This roller touches this. So that's the roller follower. Right now, zero here is lined up with the zero here. So this gets copied on to both blades. Let's cut a dynamic ellipse zero for a seven to eight skate size. It's got a 20 millimeter pitch to it after it's done. Here's the template. This is the low point here, 20 millimeters. This is the heel. This is the toe. This is a 255 runner here. This is the center point. After cutting, the center point's going to be here for the ellipse. So we're going to go through and set this onto here and set the 255. There's 254 points. So we're going to take this and put the center mark on here. Put a mark here. I'm going to profile from here to here, of course, this is the center. Right through there like that. So this is going to be profiled from here to here. Now when it's in the machine here, the template's got the toe to the front. So this is going to be to where this is going to be to the front. This is the rear. This is the heel. I'm going to do two blades at once with this adapter. Okay, here's the toe, here's the heel. Got the blades here. Put them together. This fits on here like this. Holds both blades. I'm going to do both blades at once. Get these lined up. And then this holds it inside the uh, machine. Okay, this is new steel, so because it's new steel, I can go ahead and put it on the pivot point. Um, after it's cut with this type of profile, the low point on the blade is going to be over here, 20 millimeters, which is on this ellipse. But since this is new steel, I can go ahead and set it up right in the center. So this goes down and touches the tooling surfaces, and then I go through and clamp it. The clamp is over here. So, I'm going to put this in. It's touching the references now. Got this all lined up. And there I am, ready to profile. Okay, I'm going to set the stone to flat. This is the radius of hollow. And over here is to be the flat. So I can go through and move the sledge over some. And that's done with a button over here. So, set this to flat. Then I'm going to go turn the dressing, which is over here. And I'm going to go 
through and dress the stone. Okay, I'm going to turn the dresser on. Go back and forth here like this. And then I'm going to adjust this knob so I can lift this up. Okay, that's got a flat now. So I've dressed the stone so this is flat. It's like this, flat on the end. That's with this. This is the radius of ho hollow. Quarter inch, say six millimeters. Five eighths is sixteen millimeters. There's infinity. So, because of the way this goes, and then I can go through and lift this down, get it out of the way. Now I'm going to go profile from here to over here, back and forth. Okay, here's my template. I'm going to put this on. It's a lip zero. Lift this down. Push this up. This over here is a pitch setting you can use, but this is set to zero right now. I get this down. This roller touches this. So that's the roller follower. Right now, zero here is lined up with the zero here. So this gets copied on to both blades. Before I start, I'm going to go through and pull this down. I'm turning this knob right here. There's a knob down here. And that moves the roll of respect to this. I'm going to move this down so I don't do any cutting yet. Just to see where I stand. So I'm lifting this roller up to get the wheel down. So I've got this going back and forth. But I've got this up, so it's not doing any cutting yet. And this here, the 255 to 255, is also right here. There's a mark on here, and you can transpose it over here to see where you need to profile from. So if I pull this back down, just did a little bit of cut there. It's cutting when the wheel's not turning. Now these dots here represent the travel so with the smaller skate I can set it between these three dots here which is over on here I can set this so if I turn this on I'm gonna set this to two dots three dots so it's gonna go from here to here to three if it's on one dot it goes from here to here Two dots goes from here to here. Three dots. So it's going to limit the travel what I need to go on. So it's going to turn when it hits this third. So you can define the profile. You can also manually hit this button to stop it in reverse change. That's what you do on the older unit. So I want to profile from here all the way to about here. 
And that's also the marks that I have on here. So I'm turning the knob under under here to lift this down under here. So and it's now cutting the entire place from where I want to go from here to here. It's, it's cutting the profile. This is an ellipse zero. This touch right there. Touched right here. Now, it may have gone down a little bit too much. We'll see. Here. I don't have the fan on the vacuum right now, purposely. The one to not obscure the video. The wheel turned here. So, right here, it didn't it's right to where it needs to be. Okay, the low point is here on this ellipse template. It's right here instead of zero, so it's going to get the back portion done quicker than here because it's got to cut a little bit more off on the toe. So the zero point is here, and the minus 20, which is the lowest point after it gets cut on this template, is right here. So it's already finished the back portion. Right here, it's doing cutting, mostly in the front, in the toe portion. So when you're profiling, you don't want to reclamp this. It's got to stay in the fixture, because then you'll lose your, your pitch. Wheel's not turning. That means it's cutting. So from here to here, it's already, it's not cutting at all cutting from here to here. So right now, the center of the blade is here, mechanical center, and then the, on the ellipse zero, this is the low point right through here. It's cutting right now, right here. And it's already got this portion done. Just cutting right in here. Now the roller is completely rolling back and forth between these marks here. Since this is rolling, it's not cutting at all because the template's holding it up. It's got just a little bit to do right here. Once that's done, I gotta blend in 
the tip. So what you want to do is barely, you want to have it so it cuts completely from here to here, but don't go too much. So it makes the blend a little bit easier to do. Okay, I've done the entire profile, and this is the only time you want to take this out of here. So it's profile from here to over here, and then I've got to blend, blend this portion in right through here. So this has got the ellipse on here. I want to blend this portion right over here in. Here's the blades already been profiled. Lip zero. This is the heel. This is the toe. Got to blend just a little bit of this in because I only profiled from here to here. So it took some metal off so from the stock configuration. So I've got to knock just a little bit of this off to blend this in. So I'm going to put the set of blade in here like this in the unit and clamp it down like that. And then I'm going to find something to stick in there to go through and uh, fake off the sensor, hit the button here to profile, and I'm just going here and put something in there. And then I'm going to take purposely lift this down so I'm not cutting at all. So I can go through and hit this button and go back and forth, and then I can gingerly go through and take the wheel and look at it blend just a little bit of this in so that this part that I profiled matches back up onto here toe region I've got to go through and blend this naturally in here the heel looks perfect right into here I don't have to do anything that generally you don't want to knock anything back off on there. And I'm going to go through manually and just uh, move the buttons back here and go back and forth over that little region. So what I've done, instead of trying to clamp it near here, I'm going to try to go ahead and clamp it to where the skate is a little bit more forward here so that when I've got the wheel here cutting it's away from the clamp. You want something thin to get in there to fake it off. Pull this out. You can go back and forth with this button here. was an aid to get this uh, figure out how to do this blending I put an arrow right here and that allows me to go through when I fixed it to have it's like about like this so I can see what's going on down in here so that arrow seems to help right through there so the profile was from here to here the part that I blended in you want it so there's a smooth transition so you've got like this and then this is a part right in here that I went through and just went back and forth and got this to where I uh, blended it in manually here holding the wheel back and forth it's a little bit tricky to do but it blended in pretty nice through here so it's not just a radical transition so you've got the ellipse and then it goes through to the original stock curve here. So it's got the ellipse zero and then I blended this region in just right through here manually. This is for dressing. Went through and set this to half inch and I went through and dressed the wheel back and forth. And I went through and sharpened one of the blades. can't even see the transition through here. Yeah. 
Okay, you can move this back and forth. Set this to half inch, which I wanted for the radius of hollow. This is for dressing. Went through and I dressed the wheel here back and forth with the diamond. Then I put each one of these blades in here individually in the clamp with this and I sharpened these over here so let me turn this off and so got good metal got a good burr on either side and there's where the transition was that I smoothed out So all I got to do is deburr these. So the quad zero or the ellipse zero was from here to about here. It was defined by this. Then I blended this in. Did two blades at once. And I blended this in by manually clamping this at an angle. Then I just sharpened each blade individually to a half inch radius of hollow. Okay, these two blades, I just went ahead and put an ellipse zero on here. This is the template, this is the heel, this is the toe. It goes like this. So I use the machine to go through and cut from about here to here, which we go through and profile. That's a 255 blade from 254 to 254. And then I manually blended in in the toe the region right through here. Then I sharpened to a half inch radius of hollow. And that's where you go through and move the machine back and forth. And then you go turn the dresser on. You adjust the height and you go back and forth like this cut that and then you go through and put each blade individually and sharpen I've got eight passes on there and that's because they were flat and I actually used the stone I used in here I just used regular six millimeter stone to do two blades at once I didn't use the coarser blade if you didn't do a lot you can use the eight millimeter but I got away with doing both of them with the standard six millimeter blade that worked out